All right, let's talk about number three. Number three here, okay, uh, number three, I want to find the slope of the given lines. So here it looks like it's an upward slope, which means that my slope should be positive. So I'm going up and then over. I go up how many? I go up one, two, three, four, five, and over one, two, three. So my slope is five over three. This one, I'm gonna go down first, which tells me my slope should be negative. All right, I'll go down one, two, three, four, five, six, and right one, two, three, four, five. Right, let me double check that. One, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, five. So it should be negative six over five. Here in this problem, I go up zero and over one, one, two, three, four, five, or four. Well, zero over four is just a zero over any number is zero. This is a horizontal line. Horizontal lines always have the slope of zero. This is a vertical line. Vertical lines, I go up two over zero, which means I'm undefined. I have an undefined slope. Remember, vertical lines always have an undefined slope. Let's keep going, having fun. Um, find the slope that passes through the pair of points. I'll do this one or the next one, and I'll call it. All right, so the, the pass to the pair of points. Remember, you're going to need um, to use m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 for both of these problems. All right, so the first thing I would do, to, or the thing that helps me the most, is labeling my points. Then I just throw what I can. I throw what I know. Throw it in. Y2, 17. Y1, 14. Y, X2, 18. X1, also 14. 17 minus 14 is 3. 18 minus 14 is 4. Boom. Let's keep going. X1, Y1, X2. Two y two m equals y two, which is six minus y one, which is five, over x two, which is negative thirteen minus x one, which is negative four, so minus negative one. So you minus negative four, that becomes one big plus sign. Six minus five is one. Negative thirteen plus four is negative nine. So the slope is negative one over nine. You can put, remember, you can put the negative on the top. You can put the negative on the bottom. I could put the negative just right in front like this, okay? Remember a lot of times, or all, I will always write it in front or with the, with the numerator like that, okay? That's, that's how a lot of mathematicians do it, all right? And we are mathematicians, whether you realize it or not. You guys are mathematicians. You're doing math. Matician did this uh, and stuff, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Find the slope from the tables. Here we go. Let's see if there is a slope. So I'm going plus six. I'm going plus two. I'm going plus four. I'm going plus four. This is not linear. So there isn't a slope. It's not consistent. Um, I'm subtracting three. I'm subtracting three. I'm subtracting three, so this one's shaped up to be linear. And I'm going up one every single time here. Excuse me. I'm adding one every single time. Okay, adding one, adding one. So my slope is negative three over one, which is just negative three. All right, uh, we'll pick up with number six on the next video.